Hello, everyone. Welcome to Lotus Channel. This is Abby on the host today, and、uh, there is a ducking claw machine came out from our workshop. Right now, I'd like to show you from the ducking unit. What we can see now is our cutting unit.、Uh, we can see the cutting frame. Firstly, we use one, two, three, four, four cylinder for the frame to make it more stable. And we can see the die. The die we all use the wheel machine with machining. And we can check our test material here. It's very flat and without smooth. It's very flat without any without any scratch on the on it. Let's check it closely. We can check. You see, it's very flat. No any scratch. There is a smaller rib, smaller rib, smaller rib on it. Then let's come to the forming part. The forming part、uh, combined with steel panel and the changes missing. Right now we、uh, added the cover box to protect the chain. Later, I will show you what chain we used for this machine. And this machine, we we can't see any motor outside because we hide the motor in the machine inside the machine due to we need to save space and we. Do not have enough space to put it on the workshop. And this machine combined with two motor, due to the thickness of the raw material,、uh, will reach up to 1.5 millimeter. And the material is harder. So we need to bigger motor to ensure the precision. And now we can see is our embossing roller. Here is the embossing roller before forming. When the feet, when the sheet feeding, we will embossing on the sheet firstly, then forming. And this machine, we can see the chain here, chain transmission. We use the double chain, one two double chain transmission, and the brand of the chain is Japan brand Choho, which is almost the top one. In the global market, and what we can see now for this switch handle switch is manual clutch. It means it it can manual clutch for the roller. What we need this handle clutch is for our embossing roller. So、uh, if we do not need embossing, we can release a screw. Release the screw, then the roller will lift up. The machine will come come into the forming part without embossing. If we need it, we just、uh, tighten the screw. Then the roller will down. It will embossing on the sheet. And now, let's turn to the hydraulic decoder. 
this hydraulic decoder capacity is five ton with the loading cart. It uh, will hydraulic expansion and uh, motorized tension. Due to the coil is harder and the thickness is thicker. So we add the press arm here. Otherwise, when feeding, when the cantilever is moving, moving the coil will open. Here is a motor for tension. There's the uh, operation cabinet. We can see all the switch we add in dish. And uh, this is detail for the operation cabinet of the hydraulic controller. We all mark it to make customer more clearly. And for the hydraulic pump station, we hide in the machine, hide in the decoder. So this is the hydraulic decoder. Now let's back to our forming part. Feeding guide, embossing forming hydraulic cutting we can see the pipe between the two side steel panel why we use the pipe because we need the pipe to support support it to make them in a line and make the steel panel more stable The roller material we choose the GCR15. Due to the thickness is 1.2 to 1.5 millimeter. And we can check our testing material on eight and uh, there is another motor there here is the uh, encoder to sense the lens considering the work space limit we this machine we use the portable operation cabinet just connect on the machine with a portable electrical box and it will be better for smaller workshop and it's very easy to load in container and easy to unload so here is a general view of our day stacking floor machine. If you're interested in it, uh, we can provide you more details. Just contact with us. So see you, bye-bye.